YouTubers, welcome to the Shark Husbandry Network. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the questions I get the most often uh, because people are interested in these types of sharks is they want that shark look. So I'm going to go over my personal favorite shark that's the easiest to maintain that's going to give you that look that you're looking for. Now it is going to require a little bit more work than your standard coral cat sharks and brown banded bamboo sharks and other, you know, epulet sharks and other sharks in the, the cat shark family. But it'll give you that look and it's probably by far the hardiest shark. And it's one of the sharks in the hound shark family. Now I'm a big fan of every one of the hound sharks. The, smooth, the gray smooth hound, the brown smooth hound, the California leopard shark I love, and the banded hound shark, also known as the Japanese leopard shark. The California leopard shark is probably the easiest to maintain out of all of those, just like the banded hound shark. The only problem is, is people don't really, people, a lot of people aren't familiar with the banded hound shark because it's just not that readily, readily available in, uh, in the pet trade. Uh, it comes, uh, this shark is native to kind of the Japanese area. And uh, the benefit to this shark is, unlike the other banded hound sharks, is it does not require the cold water that the other sharks require. Now, it does need to be a little cooler, but nothing like a California leopard shark, which requires 55, 56 degrees up to like in the low, low, low 70s at the most. It's almost the same with the gray smooth hound and the, and the brown smooth hound and the other hound sharks located in the Atlantic Ocean. This shark actually likes water somewhere in the low 60s all the way up to 78 degrees. Uh, I keep my aquarium, the one that you see behind me, that I have my banded hound shark in at 73 to 77 degrees. It never gets any colder than 73, it never gets any hotter than 77. The reason for this is because I've got a multi-species tank. I uh, have other tropical sharks that like the water in the mid to upper 70s also, so it maintains, it makes everybody happy, and it's a shark that you can put in a family with other sharks, and I have to worry about owning a chiller, which are very expensive, um, and other things to cool, that keep the water cool in your system. As long as you can keep the water cool naturally in the system, you would not require a chiller, and it makes itself very, very, very easy to maintain. These sharks are very hardy. They can make it through just about anything. Mine has been injured before, had a hole punctured all the way through its fin, and was able to heal within about three weeks all on its own with no antibiotics. Now, the reason it was able to do this is because not only is the shark very hardy and has a very strong immune system, but this shark also if you have the right water parameters and if you're feeding it uh, shark vitamins, not a standard vitamin, but like a Missouri shark vitamin, which is what I recommend, by far the best vitamin for sharks on the market, then this shark can pretty much take care of itself. I feed this guy two, sometimes three times a week, depending on how he's acting. He eats um, Patagonian scallops, whiting. He has eaten orange roughy. He doesn't like it as much, I don't think, but he does like the whiting, loves it. And uh, jumbo shrimp, peeled, deveined, and the tail off. Uh, I do feed them squid if I can get it, but only if it's fresh. I really don't get into the frozen squid thing. I, uh, I just don't feel comfortable about it. But the other stuff I do buy is frozen, and uh, I've been feeding it to them for, for years. The guy behind me is now about 31 to 32 inches. He's a male. They typically will max out. A male will at around 4 feet. His growth rate has, has it, you know, really slowed down as he's gotten older. Uh, but he's about 31, 32 inches. He's probably, I've had him for two and a half years. He's probably about three years old, maybe three and a half. Um, and uh, he's been a great shark for me. Uh, these guys require very minimal rock work. They will injure themselves, especially as they get larger, and they need a very large aquarium. This aquarium behind me is a seven foot by seven foot by three feet, 1,000 gallon aquarium or slightly over that. Um, this shark here will probably outgrow this aquarium. He's probably gonna end up being, especially when he gets to where he's around, he's around 30, 31 inches right now, maybe 32. If this, as this shark starts to approach the, the 41, the 42 inch mark, uh, I'll, be, I'll be able to place him in a home. We actually have a place that's got a, a cold water system for hound sharks, and, uh, and I've found some people that are actually very interested in taking him. It's a public aquarium somewhere. Um, I would also say that uh, this shark here, because of the, what it likes about its, um, because it doesn't mind the, the colder water, you can put it in there with bamboo sharks and other fish that aren't cold water specimens, and uh, you're not going to run any kind of medical problems or any kind of immune system deficiencies or oxygen issues because the shark's being kept in a slightly warmer, uh, slightly warmer environment. Um, this shark here, to be kept to its fullest, probably needs an aquarium that's slightly larger than mine, somewhere 15 to two, 1,500 to 2,000 gallons. A lot of people say you need a 10,000 gallon aquarium for these things. I do not believe that. Uh, but I do think that for a four to five footer, you are definitely going to need something in the range of around a 10 by 10 by three or four or something like that, uh, which most people do not have the room for. Uh, these guys will get uh, males four feet in captivity typically, females probably close to five. Uh, there are stories of them getting five and six feet, but I've never seen one in captivity that big. Uh, and very rarely do they get that large in the ocean either. Um, but they can reach uh, somewhat larger lengths. The California leopard shark obviously being much, 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 much larger. Uh, the stories of those guys reaching six and a half feet and such. But uh, these guys here uh, are very, very easy to maintain. Uh, they're very simple, and they don't get sick that often. Please do me a favor. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put your comments below. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. And thank you for watching the Shark Husbandry Network.